Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're at Razorback Stadium, the home of the Arkansas Razorbacks since 1938. Cincinnati is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. Around the 26 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26 yard line. It's second down. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at about the 43 yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. From their own 43 yard line, first down. He makes his way to about the 42. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. four-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. And down he goes at the 36. strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And this play is number eight on the drive. He laterals. Knocked out of bounds at the seven. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Rose, complete touchdown. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The Bearcats and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. 
when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. That makes it second and From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They get nice yardage on that run. Bird gains about five yards on the run. And he tackles him hard at the 35 yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 36-yard line. bring him down at the 45 yard line it's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this it makes an offense so much more versatile we've got a first and 10 ball on their own 45 and he's tackled around the 42 yard line never really had a shot they were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. And he hits him hard at the 29. is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play makes it second and six. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Arkansas is up seven. They give to the tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Taken down around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check down, ready. Shut down. Motion, motion. Tackle around the 37-yard line. Gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and inches. Is out to the tailback on the screen, and they'll bring him down behind the line. That'll bring up fourth and one.
They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Arkansas can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It's up, and he missed it left. No good. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. Second and eight, ball on their own 40. a great tackle at the 41 yard line <laughs> under pressure quick throw this one is incomplete they looked a little sluggish on that series I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back the defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. <laughs> Sanders takes it to 15. Got the corner. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Arkansas is up by a touchdown. Gives it left side. Nice run there as they work the outside. Second down and five. Ball on the 34-yard line. Gets to about the 37-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That'll bring up 32. Green gets the ball. Good outside run there. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Arkansas's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Second down, six to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third down. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Two down, two down. Hey, one set, one set. Black A. He's at the 40. To the 20. And they bring him down at the 14-yard line. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. First and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Arkansas up seven points. after a decent run up the gut. Cincinnati's really excited to watch this guy grow with this defense. That was his first tackle, but I guarantee you, he's got hundreds more coming. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets 
Gets to about the five-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. With the safeties coming up, making plays near the line of scrimmage, that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they're trying to convert again here. Now he tries to buy some time. Here, fumble! Scoops it up. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Brought down at the 23. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. On the ground, left side. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Just about three yards there. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. Caught over the middle. And they make the stop at the 45. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Arkansas is up a score. Nice run there. They get about four on that keeper. That makes it second and six. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. throw to the tight end and he's taken down at the 26 so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield passes to the back incomplete that makes it fourth and four McClellan awaits the snap. They'll bring him down at the 40. The Bearcats struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes 
You know, Herbie, it's almost like a, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch to get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands their go-to guy. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Under pressure. Fires right side. Got his tail back. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. He might have a chance. He's at the 20. Makes it out to about the 16. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at the 18. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. That's how we do. They don't want none of this. Third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's looking for his man. Incomplete pass. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Fletcher ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Flips it, middle to the running back. And he's level at the 31-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Arkansas is up four. He delivers. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Bring him down at about the 45. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Throws it to the halfback and he's got it again. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 12.
after the big pass play. We've got a first down. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. And off to the left, and he hits him hard at the 13. The Razorbacks are going to call their second timeout. And pick up. And he tackles him hard at the two yard line. Arkansas is up by four. Got a man open, touchdown. Nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he converts the extra point. Little has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Too easy, too easy. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He lost the ball. It scooped up, and he's tackled at about the 23-yard line. through and it's been a good one 14-3 Arkansas glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, Dave. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you got to start changing things around. And sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you, they need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise out of and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. So maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. We always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And now he's got room to run. Tackle at about the 41. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Fires it 
fires that quickly incomplete. This is just an example of a safety reading the eyes of the quarterback and being able to get a good jump on the football and knock that away from the receiver. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Zips it to the back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Stack in the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He really got a hold of that one. Sanders takes it to 15. Brought down at the 27-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Run to the left there. That's a DD four on the way. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 31. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From their own 28-yard line, third down. There's a strike complete, and he's down. That'll make it fourth and two. McClellan is waiting for the snap. And down he goes at the 35. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes it to the 47. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47. Broke away from one. He fights forward to around midfield. That'll make it second to seven. Roger, Roger. Four to the right. Squeeze. Make it out. Make it out. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. Third down, and they need to get inside the 43. Brought down around the 45-yard line. Some room. He gets to about the 34-yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Watch 
gets to about the 34-yard line. Got him for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. He is drilled at the 30-yard line. Peterson picks him up six yards with a catch. That'll make it fourth and six. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up. And he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 14-6, Arkansas. Cincinnati to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Three down, three down. Arkansas up by eight. Fires it out. And they make the stop at about the 31. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run up the middle. Seven yard line from their own 47 yard line first down oh it almost picked off turn on the intended receiver on the play that makes it second and ten the 45. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Man left, man left. From their own 45-yard line, it's third down. Throws out and through his hands. Jackson was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. And he has it on the corner. He takes it in at the 14. He gets hit out of bounds at the 23. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to beat next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Knocked out of bounds around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Green takes it left. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Loss. 
from their own 32-yard line. Third down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37. Fletcher awaits the snap. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Arkansas holds an eight-point advantage. tackled at about the 37 yard line the running back gets two on the carry you won't break or bend this linebacker he won't miss that tackle too often it's second down eight to go ball on their own 37 Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters, 14-6. Razorback. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. Gaining two yards. That, that makes, makes it fourth and eight. eight. McClelland is the punter. He fields a punt at the 20. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Play action under pressure. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he dives forward. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. From their own 44-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard to 39-yard line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play. And I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Throws in a hurry. And he's immediately tackled. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Inside the 10. 
and he hits him hard at the six. That's the kind of poise you love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards in a first down. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. And down he goes around the three-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Touchdown, Cincinnati! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They don't get it. An eight-play, 69-yard drive, and they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Arkansas holds just a two-point lead. He's taken down at the 50. First and 10, ball on the 50-yard line. Throws a bullet. Almost intercepted. Parrish was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Tie right, tie right. Three down, three down. Hey, one set, one set. Let go. Hands off and not much room there as they try to work the left side. Third down and they need to get it inside the 40. Passes in and it's picked off by the safety. That's a great tackle at the 33 yard line. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. From their own 33-yard line, first down. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 41. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. Makes it out to about the 29. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. He's at the 20, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. Hits it on the inside. Tackle right around the eight yard line. That makes it second and two. Touchdown, and they. 
they take the lead. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. They'll go for two in this situation. Cincinnati is up by four. He's in for the conversion. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Update time from the top 25. And for Utah, they grab this game by the throat. Utah on top. 3-0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Fletcher has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Over the years in watching college football, the great quarterbacks relish this kind of opportunity. It's a one-possession game, over two minutes to go. It's all on you and on this offense to give yourselves a chance to win this football game. And now we find out really what this quarterback is made out of. A gain of eight and a nice decision by the quarterback to give it up on the option. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Brought down at the 34. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Nice run there. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Hey, that's good. That's good. Hey, watch that. Watch that. Check flight 54. Hey, next in. Let's it fly. This one will fall incomplete. Number 85, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. Green Needed that play and he dropped it. Big stop by the defense. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Run left side. And they make the stop at the 46. The halfback picks up a yard. With the safety's coming up making plays near the line of scrimmage. That tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. And he's level at the 46-yard line. Arkansas is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Caught enough for the first down. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. The Razorbacks using their third and last timeout. Just over two minutes in the game. Tackle made at the 30. Bird gets eight yards on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. 
First down. down. through a defender and he's in. A big, big score here late in the fourth quarter and now they've given themselves some breathing room in this football game. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. And they won't get the two. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's check in on a pair of top 25 teams. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Gators unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. The Gators have the edge, 7-3. Thanks, Reese. 26 to 14 is our score. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, now you've got to be thinking end zone on every play. You just don't have the time to do anything else. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Let's it fly. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. We have less than a minute to go. Tight end had it, and it's knocked away. Washington the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. He's tackled at the 40. He delivers. Got it. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Cincinnati's a team on a mission right now, it appears. They have put up 20 points in a row. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Bearcats coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.